Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to Junkyard Truck. Today, we're out once again, and I have been doing a little bit off recording, just trying to figure out everything. Uh, because the first episode, I honestly didn't expect this game to be so in-depth. So, why am I bringing this up here? This is cool, and I'm just kind of um, buying some things as I go. I found that uh, logging is extremely lucrative, so that's kind of what I've been focusing on. But today, obviously, the goal is to start working on this beast uh, so we can actually get a truck uh, because logging in a hatchback is a very weird experience, to say the least. And there's also so many other missions we can do. Uh, now, I can get that log. It spawns every day. I don't think I need it, though, because I already have two trees down there. So I think we're going to head down. First of all, get some more money in the bank. And um, actually, before I leave, let me grab that... Uh, I don't think you, I was thinking about buying some uh, parts for the truck today, but I think we'll do that tomorrow. I want to make sure this thing's okay. I added more oil to it. It seems to be stable once again because it took me literally minutes to turn it over. It slowly degrades. I'm assuming it has an oil leak. Um, so I'm going to see if I can repair this today. There is a mechanic in town. You can either repair yourself or get the mechanic to do it. I just want to see if he can tell me what the hell is wrong with this thing. Maybe I'll get him to repair that. I definitely want to repair the truck on my own, though, if I'm skilled enough to do so. But yeah, the important part is as long as I have one car. Oh my god, what the frick was that? What the? Okay, I was just saying how good this car is right now. Not any freaking more. Who left this in the middle of the freaking road? People are going to think I did that. That was seriously not me. Oh my god. They randomly spawn everywhere? That's dangerous. Well, thankfully, there's no engine light on yet. Uh, god. This, that's why I love this game, man. It's rough around the edges, but that's what I love so much about it. Another one. What the hell? Someone's trying to freaking kill me. Why are they spawning in the middle of the road? That shouldn't happen. All right, we're here. Actually, I'm going to bring this down here. My trees better still be here. I cut them down. Oh, they reset, you freaking jerks. Um, I cut them down thinking I could just kind of pile them here. Kind of like the um, washers that are everywhere. Clearly, they, they reset. So you're going to have to do them day of. Now, this tree's a little broken. When I cut it, it makes an annoying noise. So I'm not going to do that. We don't need much money, at least for right now anyways. So one tree should be enough. I think I get over 100 per tree. So yeah, that's all I should need for today. All right, so that's six logs. Last time it was about 450 kgs. I'm obviously going to put these in here. I don't want to move one at a time. Mind you, it's probably going to take just as long to stack this thing. But I love that these just conveniently perfectly fit in here. At least for logging, I truly don't need the truck. I mean, obviously, I'd be able to hold more with it. But um, this is kind of nice. At least I have one avenue of revenue that's quite easy. Oh. What the frick just happened? Whoa. Oh, no. No, you're deathing the hood. Oh, I don't know if you know, but this game has soft-bodied physics, and that just freaking happened. I hope I can still stack them in. God damn it. What the freak is going? You know what? I guess I'm bringing one at a time. This worked perfectly for, like, three trees. I was able to buy a bunch of food with profits. Now, the moment I start recording, everything goes wrong. Oh, look, another thing in the middle of the road. I probably put that one there, honestly. Okay, that took way longer than it should have. If my hatchback would have cooperated with me, it wouldn't have been so bad. But there goes the majority of our day freaking dealing with six logs. 480 kgs, though. We'll sell that. We have 125 in the bank. But once we put in this in... So, yeah, it looks like we get 120 per tree. That's actually really good. At least for my vitals, I can easily survive in this game. Um, all right, now I want to head over to the mechanic and see how that works. Was that one there? What is going on? There was... I don't think that one was there either. I have, like, seven washing machines just in town alone. This is the weirdest freaking game. Jimmy, can you freaking help me with this body repair, my dude? Hey, Jimmy, how's it going, buddy? Can you... Fill out one of the forms. Okay. If you want me to look at your truck... Oh, truck. <laughs> you gotta bring it to me. You can so... use my phone to call a tow truck. Oh. Um, I don't want him to repair the truck. I want to at least try. So do I not repair this? Is this like a one-time thing? And then once it's broken, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. You know, I do have a crowbar. I wonder if it's just a little whack. Nope. Can't, can't, can't do that. Okay. Well, I guess I don't know how to repair this thing, especially like body repair. I don't know what I would even do to do that. So, well, I guess we're just going to have an old jalopy until we fix the truck. No, 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 no. 
No, no, no. Huh? Huh? What the frick is going on? No! Oh my god, what the hell? What is going on in this game? Stop going backwards. Oh my god. I didn't want to ride the whip, goddammit. I'm gonna get nothing done in this episode. My god. Um, I figured out that these guys, somehow you can play blackjack here. Oh, $300. All right, well, I guess we're not doing that yet. Jesus, you, you, you guys are rich. You're, pl you're playing on a freaking shed. All right, so I'm gonna head back home and look at my truck and see what kind of things we need. I know it's a lot. I'm gonna do my best to do the most myself. But at least I know I can tow my truck to the mechanic if I do totally need help and he can do it for me, which might be something that needs to happen because, yeah, I, as I said many times, am not a mechanic, that's for sure. All right, so looking at it, I know I at least need a fan belt. What goes there? I mean, I don't think there's supposed to be a hole in the engine. Um, fan belt, definitely. We need the cables for the battery, so we'll definitely get those and install those. Um, just looking over it, trying to see everything. I know I think I, yeah, I think I need an air filter for the top as well. The thing is, this manual de doesn't even explain, um, what these pieces are. It's just a an image of them. So I might need that piece for the fan belt too. There's the air filter. I know I need that because there's nothing on top of this little doohickey over here. So air filter goes there. Got that. Hell, I think I, I probably need the fan as well. So I think we'll get the whole um, fan belt, whatever this is, and fan as assembly. I really hope the internals of the engine are okay, because I am screwed if that's the case. What is that? Okay, that's got to be the cables. Let's actually uh, try and jack this bad boy up to figure out how we do this. How do I? Okay, there we go. Um, what do I do here? Oh, God. I just want to look under the car and see if we're missing anything. Okay. Now, these things are extremely dangerous. I know that. Sometimes they slip out, and if you don't lock it into place, uh, you'll break your hand on these things. So, probably the worst jack you could possibly get, but hey, I expect nothing less in this game. There we go. See? It's totally safe. It leans to the side. Oh, there. Called it! See? That's what I'm talking It actually is the same in the game. All right, I think this side's probably a little bit better. Because the ground's leaning here. Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, maybe I'm hitting release. It's very close to hit release and just use the jack. So release is over here. I like to hit the jack handle here. No, I'm not. I'm not moving my mouse. Oh, maybe when it slowly goes up. All right, that was probably it. I think that was user error because now we're not having as bad of a time as you can see. Oh, man, we are not going to get much clearance on this, but looks like that's maxed out. At least now I can see under there. Huh arguable but i just wanted to get a visual see if there's even a transmission in here um well that would be a transmission perfect not the best view we do have uh one of these underground dolly things don't know how to use it though like i can carry it i wonder if i need to like attach it to the truck okay i have figured it out there we go okay this is this isn't bad actually now that i figured that out mind you i don't know how to rotate this so i'm driving one way um, it actually looks, I mean, it's rusty, but I'm not seeing anything missing. So I think aside from the, f oh God, don't hit that and kill myself. Aside from the radiator, I think we're more or less okay. We just need, um, cables, fan, belt, um, fan should probably change all the liquids as well. And then hopefully it turns over. I don't know what this is though. And that bothers me because it's not connected to anything. I should probably go back to my manual. Oh, there, there is a checklist. Um, so if oil light is on, I do know when I turn it over, a bunch of check lights are on. So we might just follow this checklist, but I'll at least buy the things that I know I need uh, tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, I spent all night trying to lift this freaking thing. I should go to sleep. And once again, my oil light is on. Fantastic. Really uh, glad I have this car that just constantly leaks oil. I have to spend 20 more dollars on oil soon. Okay, I just want to look at prices. Um... Uh, let's find what I actually need. Okay, V8, clutched fan. Do I have a V8? I probably should have opened it to see how many valves there is. I'm, is it, I don't know if it's a V8 or not. I mean, let's just see what else we got. We got mostly V8 in here. Timing chain. I don't know if I need that or not. Maybe I should tow my truck here. Uh, only because it's right by the parts store, so I don't need to transfer so much. So I think I will do that. 
He says I can use his phone to call a tow truck, but I cannot use his phone. I do know that I have a phone. Hookzilla towing. All right, transport my... Tr oh, it comes to the town, though. It doesn't come here. I hope this is where it comes. Oh, you freaking jerk. You, it's so close. Hopefully this is good. I love that my thing stayed. <laughs> All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yes, tell me what's wrong. Very weird looking man. Oh my God. I love that he's actually loot doing it. Mm-hmm. Looks like your fan is missing. You got fan belt. Got it's that. gone. Spark plug wires. Oh God. I need to write this down. Gone. That's it? I literally had everything. What a waste of money. I can't believe I got it right. I feel kind of good about myself. Here's a company inspection report. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, I have inspection kids. results. Good. Fan missing, fan belt, plug wires. Okay, so I can tell him to repair it, but I mean, I think he's cool with me trying to do it myself. I don't know if I need a special tool or if it's just like a check mark down here. I might need to take it apart. Oh, God, if that need, if that, oh, yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, uh, stop moving. Perfect. Okay, one thing done. All right, fan, pretty cheap. Good. And then we just need the spark plug wires. This is way easier than I thought, um, which is a great thing because we might be able to actually start this thing today. Okay, there we go. Done. Uh, I wonder if I should do the fluids anyways. Now, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll look for the check engine lights first. All right, there they are. I at least have money for everything. Oh, that makes me feel good. I thought this was going to be like a, a multi-episodic job. Um, but yeah, we should be able to... Where the hell do I aim this? I hope I got the right thing. Okay, I saw it. Done. Is that it? Wait, I still don't have this connected. Hold on, let's just try and turn it over. See what happens. Does it have fuel? I don't think it has fuel. I don't have any engine lights on. Maybe because it's in four-wheel? Oh, I do have engine lights on. Oil and brake. Did you lie to me, dude? Is this thing not done yet? All right, I know I need the air filter. I don't know what the hell this guy's talking about because the air filter goes on top. So we'll put that on right here, right? Okay, maybe he wasn't lying to me. Maybe this isn't the right part. Oh, yep. What are, what are you talking about? Now I need to screw that down. Hold on. How, do, how the hell do I do this? Oh, scroll wheel. That's actually really cool. So screw that down. All right, well, unfortunately, I think there was only one set of wires. I don't really remember where I bought them. So this is all V8. This is not the engine we're on. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to come back tomorrow. I got to earn some money anyways. I think I have my chainsaw here, right? Yeah, we are good. I think maybe I left... Did I leave my... Jer oh, my! there's my jerry can. Wait, no, that's my jerry can. That's a freaking trash can. But there's my jerry can. I filled this thing up, though. Just want to try one more thing, see if we can fill this thing up and turn it over. I would love to get it started today. That would be fantastic. Fuel goes in. Oh, yeah, that's a good sound. That's a really good sound. Maybe that was my issue. <laughs> we just didn't have fuel. Come on, please. Even if you're not perfect, just turn over for me. It's still saying oil and break. So I think I'll bring my catalog here and continue to work on it. I at least know we have fuel now. It doesn't need oil, so there might be something else. I know it has the oil filter. I saw that earlier. Yeah, right there. That looks clean. We're getting closer, though. That's the important part. I'm assuming I just need more cables because we got to connect to the engine from the battery. That doesn't make sense. The battery's just chilling there. So yeah, let's uh, let's go chop a tree, I guess, and call it a day. <laughs> oh no, my tree didn't respawn. It usually respawns every day. All right, I got to do the annoying tree. Uh, that's okay. As, as long as I restart the game, it stops being annoying. Why is it still doing this? Oh, it doesn't make sense. You're going uphill. E brake? I can't even use the e brake in this car. All right, well, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. All right, please don't make the annoying noise. But well, you probably will. And we'll see what happens here. Oh, I don't think it actually did it. Sweet. 960 kgs. It's one tree. Are the trees different or did it break? Wait, this was the glitchy tree. Maybe there was two trees in one because it was kind of floating. I mean, I'm not going to complain with that. Um, if this gives me more than 120, I am so freaking happy. Okay, never mind. I'm not happy anymore. Okay, I came back to get my... Uh dolly or whatever it is to get under the car so i can actually troubleshoot some things but i also bought welding wire i have a sneaky suspicion i don't know what else welding would be for besides body repair 
So I'm really hoping we can actually do that. I tried last night, but I can't actually use the welder, it seems like. I have a check mark here. I just got to get it right. My God, this game. Okay. It's like the smallest. There. Yes. Okay, that's so good. So now, hopefully, can I please... How do I do this? Ah! Oh, okay. I think I'm... I think, I think I'm doing it. Just repair the roof, please, for the love of God. Is it working? I think it is going down. It's hard to tell where I need to exactly aim. Oh my God! Why does everything break for me? I just wanted to repair the roof. I think I... As long as I got the door fixed... Oh my God, the roof is worse. The roof is worse now. <laughs> oh my God. Well, at least we can check this thing out. Isn't it beautiful? Oh God. Okay. Yep. There we go. Well, you know what? I think the welder actually did work. Just not for the roof for whatever reason. Because my doors actually stay shut now. Which was the biggest annoyance. So I'm not complaining. It was a good idea. It was just a little broken. All right. So time to go through the checklist. Um, I finally got my thing here. I just want to make sure all these bolts are nice and tight. I can't see any oil in there. I don't know if that game's this realistic, but at least I can see inside so I can look visually to see if everything's here. Um, maybe I do need to still put oil in this thing. I tried. Check for presence of oil filter. Uh, has that. Replace oil. Maybe I should drain it. Let's just try that. that that's actually a good idea. Being that we have oil here. We're going to undo that. And there she comes. Okay. Okay. Good. Just pour it all over this poor mechanic's ground. Exactly. My truck is slowly moving. I don't like that, but that's okay. Is this ever going to stop? Oh my god, it's slow. It's just like real life oil. It just slowly comes out and drains. Okay. So now I definitely should be able to put oil in it. And yes. Okay, good. Oil has been changed. Oil pan seemed okay. Maybe I should have changed that though. Oil light still on. All right, so now it wants me to check head gasket condition. Uh, that means we got to take things off. Oh, God. All right, so I unscrewed those. That should be able to be taken off now. Yes, okay, there we go. Valve cover. Okay, we have three different gears. Sorry, four different gears. I can't count. Um, worst case, I might have to work a bit. I think what I need is... I hope I need this. I mean, worst case, we're going to have to upgrade all this crap anyway. So if I'm buying it twice... It's all good. Please tell me this is really... Oh, my God. Oh, my... I'm actually impressed with myself sometimes. Okay. So, that attaches... Does it attach now? I don't think it still attaches. I think we need one of those little guys. To Wait, I think it does. Let's just, let's just see what happens. This is a slow process. I am sorry, guys. I really wish I was a car guy. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, I can't. I'm, <laughs> I feel so good. I know nothing about this. And I... <laughs> oh, this must be what it feels like to get an old jalopy running, man. I actually got it running. It's not perfect. The door is floating. But I got it running. I, I, oh, we should probably put that back on. That would be smart. <laughs> There's so many bolts missing. There's so much wrong with this thing. I don't care right now. I need a break from this. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, my God. It is so bad. It is... That took so long to start. I thought I was broken again. How is my door working? It doesn't even make sense. Oh, look. More freaking washing machines. Oh, it's daytime again? I spent all night once again trying to get this truck running. It actually... Oh, my God. S works as a brake on this one. That's so much more convenient. That alone is worth it. It feels good. I don't think it will run for very long. Every freaking light is on, so we still have to do a lot of work on this thing. But it's moving, and I can actually haul things now. Okay, home sweet home. Boy, it feels good. Ooh, that's an interesting noise. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really wish I could remove that fence. Then again, probably smart to have that fence there, because I think there's a hill right behind it. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous uh, about turning this thing off because one time it's probably not going to turn on again. Let's see if we can hopefully repair this door. Last time this went really well, so let's see if we can actually do it this time. Oh, yeah, we're going to turn off the lights too. Okay. Okay. It's actually fixing it. Can we maybe remount it? 
it actually did undent it, so that's good. Did I bend the back a bit? No. All right, guys. Well, I think I need a little bit of a break after that. That was stressful, man. Not knowing anything about mechanics and trying to repair a vehicle is, is always a fun endeavor. So, yeah, in the next episode, I would like to finally do some uh, towing and whatnot, some hauling, if you will, so we can actually earn some serious money. That way, I want to slowly, you know, actually repair this vehicle. You know, it does run, but just... It's actually so hot right now, you can see steam's coming off of it, so that's not good. We might need some rad fluid. I actually brought some, so we may as well just do that here. Or coolant, as it's called. Wait, that doesn't where that isn't where coolant goes, is it? Because I think it's just water in a rad, isn't it? Actually, that kind of gives me an idea. Hold on. All right, I, ha I, I, I have a hose here. Let's see if we can maybe fill this thing. I have no idea if this is working or not. Okay, we'll figure out the rest of this in the next episode. I don't know how to let go of my hose now. Uh <laughs> This is going to be a rough series, guys, but I think it's going to be a fun one. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Junkyard Truck. Next episode, we'll take a break from the mechanics and earn some serious money, hopefully. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.